Hey, how's it? This is the foundation. Want to come at you with a Lakers off-season video. Uh, the draft is next week. Um, not really going to a draft one yet. Um, probably in a couple of days, I'll release it. I'll do a draft video. It's because you know the, a lot of uh, NBA players. I mean, NBA values the international player a lot more, and then you know trying to see the list of available available international players is kind of kind of difficult and all that uh, or finding their highlights or whatever um, and the NBA pissed me off the other day um, by suspending Draymond Green I thought they would have closed them out I thought they would have closed them out but you know with the suspension you know you saw the, how how valuable Draymond Green is to the Warriors um, the first reason why I say that is because Luke Walton is part of their um, uh, coaching staff, and he's our new head coach. And I'd love to him being been a part of the the, the workouts before the draft prospects, um, and then giving um, again, and then uh, plus uh, giving already working on like what kind of players would he like or what what you know him and Mitch Kupchak getting getting a good vibe um, of what what is what they want and stuff like that. Um, ben, you know, and then that's why another thing with the draft, um, Ben Simmons is not going to work out for any team. I don't know if he said in a message, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but this is more of a uh, free agency video. I do v value more free agency in the NBA more than I do the NFL. The NFL is just too valuable to 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 wait to to spend your money you have to be very careful on how you spend free agency i mean in nba it's a very star studded league so you can make a bigger impact with them with an um with a free agent um having said that i do believe in dra um drafting our own i do believe in you know resigning our own um for instance uh jordan clarkson um at first i thought he was gonna be on slam dunk easily resign but a lot more teams have shown interest in um, the last couple of weeks. So I hope it's not going to be a bidding war between him. Um, Brandon Bass and Lou Williams. I love both players. I thought Lou Williams was our best, was our best player last year. Um, but, I, but I don't know what, how things worked out at the end. I don't know how much money he's going to command. So... And then Brendan Bass, he was pretty pissed off on how things went. I would love to resign him just because of his toughness um, and his rebounding ability and stuff like that. You know, you need that kind of guy still yet in this league. Um, Puertas, I would love to resign him as well just because he can be a great second unit guy. And then, and then at um, certain times, you can move D'Angelo uh, to the two and have him run the point if you want to go small. Um, and you know, like that's the that's the scheme of you know. You know, I, I don't know how much, how similar or how much, carb. You know, how much of a copy he's gonna do of the Warriors. But I know it's gonna be more because our the way our team is shaped right now is is more suited for a pace, um, a pace. But you know, Luke Walton want, wants to bring that ball movement. You know, in you know because he's always been you know very big on ball movement. And as a player as well too, um, and you know, and then you know, you know, spreading the spreading the spreading the um, the court, the court. Um, so so that's how that, I mean that's what I think he's gonna want. Um, and then you know, uh, Warriors has some free agents. Uh, you can cross Draymond Green off the list, you know, because you just seen how valuable he is already to that team missing this past game um harrison bars i always love this game very talented guy um you know maybe maybe with a team where he's more of a more first person option um he might he might do better with us you know luke walton's gonna bring a couple guys from the warriors um spades i don't know he see i would like to bring him in but Cause he can spread the, um, he can stretch the floor as far as you know, shooting, uh, being an outside shooter. 
Um, but I think the Warriors might value him more than I think I did to do Ezeli. Ezeli, kind of a kind of a banger kind of guy. Um, so high energy guy. So I would like to, you know, probably that probably um, if you can bring Brendan Bass back on, I'd love to bring Ezeli in. Um, then now the big free agent everybody's talking about Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has, you know, he has stated that he, if anything, he would have, he wants to play for a contender. So, so I don't know how much, um, how much, you know, because I have no faith in um, Jim Buss. Um, uh, but you know, maybe the money can lure him in, him in, and then uh, on top of that, bring in another strong uh, free agent as well too. Um, have you know so but then he'll be perfect for Luke Walton system as far as like stretching the floor spreading the floor and I think you know with with our um, with our off with our guards and all that they won't be as high volume of dribbling around as as West Westbrook is so you're gonna see Durant finally being that featured guy um, Another name out there, um, Demar Derozan. Um, I love his game. He can. He kind of reminds me a little bit about that. If you want to compare Warrior to Warriors to what Luke Walton could could have, um, he reminds me of a Livingston. Livingston is a very consistent, very high percentage shooter. Not really a three point shooter, but he does. He does. He does have that consistency with him. And you know he's not a you know he does he's not a high volume shooter as well too. So you know pairing him up with um, pairing him up with Kevin Durant will be will be an awesome will be an awesome thing. I think that's a, that that could lure him in. Um, Plumley is an, also a good name. I don't know to Plumley too much, um, even though he you know but it, it, you know like. Yeah, he's all right <laughs> um, and then also um, another guy looking at um, Cody Zeller um, moves very well without the ball um, you know and, and he has more athleticism than people give him credit for and he can and he's shown that he can block shots which we really need we need a we need that kind of inside presence and all that but you know, man, if we was to draft, <clears throat> if we was to somehow draft Ingram or, you know, or Ben Simmons, whichever, you know, and get Kevin Durant and DeRozan or Zeller and stuff like that, and, and then kind of sign our own, man, that's, I mean, that that is a very optimistic, I mean, you know, I don't think it would make us number one, um, but maybe top six, you know, in the West. Um, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's, that's my video for the free agency and all that. Um, you know, I don't want to get too, you know, cause then filling out the roster, I probably do that after the, after the draft and all that, like a fill, uh, a roster filler and see, see what kind of guys we got and then, and then kind of like roster filler kind of guys, um, uh, or to, to break a bench stronger. Anyway, mahalo for watching. Go Laker Nation. Haha. <laughs>